Hello Gracians and welcome to Grace Every Morning. I'm Pastor Joey and I serve in our Next Gen Ministry. Today, we'll continue our journey into the letter Paul wrote to Titus. As we examine chapter 2, the application question for us to consider is, does your lifestyle reflect wholesome teaching? In verses 1 to 10, Paul told Titus that a minister of Christ should carry out his or her duty with faithfulness, be careful to teach only truths from God's word, and communicate these truths to people of different genders, ages, seasons of life, and occupations in the most appropriate manner. Paul was helping Titus to understand that every person has a particular spiritual need and should be challenged to grow spiritually in a particular way. In verses 11 to 15, Paul reminded Titus about how God's grace has brought salvation to everyone. As a result, those who believe in Christ are to live for God as they anticipate Jesus' return. The verse that I would like to invite you to reflect on is the first one. Please allow me to read to you Titus chapter 2, verse 1 in the New Living Translation. As for you, Titus, promote the kind of living that reflects wholesome teaching. Paul could very well be saying this to us today. You just need to swap out Titus' name with your own. As for you, Joey, promote the kind of living that reflects wholesome teaching. The two words in this chapter that, are, that were repeated several times in the original language are wholesome and teaching. In most translations, the phrase sound doctrine is used instead. When someone gives you sound advice, you get the idea that that person is saying something probably correct, usually wise, and oftentimes commonsensical. Now, it's a little different from what Paul was driving at here. He is trying to tell Titus about teaching the uncorrupted nature of God's Word. Titus was to add nothing to it and take nothing from it. In other words, Paul instructed Titus to teach the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. But more than just teach it through words, Titus was to demonstrate the truth in God's Word through the way he lived. In effect, Paul reminded Titus that both his speech and lifestyle must reflect Scripture's wholesome teaching. How? I really like how Paul broke it down practically for Titus in verse 11 to 13. Please allow me to read these verses for you as well. And we are instructed to turn from godless living and sinful pleasures. We should live in this world, this evil world with wisdom, righteousness and devotion to God while we look forward with hope to that wonderful day when the glory of our great God and Saviour Jesus Christ will be revealed. To help us remember these instructions, consider these three L's. To turn away from godless living and sinful pleasures is to leave your old life. Then we are to live the new life with wisdom, righteousness and devotion to God. Finally, we can look forward with hope when the glory of God will be revealed in Jesus. So Gratian, does your lifestyle reflect wholesome teaching? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you for your grace that has brought salvation to everyone. Help us to remember that while some of us are teaching truths found in Scripture, all of us are demonstrating our understanding of Scripture. So teach us to leave our old lives live in our new lives and look forward to the return of Christ. In our coming and going, we ask your Holy Spirit to empower us to live a life that reflects wholesome teaching. In Jesus' name, Amen. Thank you for taking time to join me today. Blessings as you go.